You wake up and the very first thing you grab is your phone. As you scroll, you scroll, you scroll on social media, your brain loses energy and more energy. You're not giving your brain a moment to breathe. And you don't even realize how this addiction is literally destroying your life. You see, I used to be very, very addicted to my phone, to not just my phone, to like video games. I was, you know, even from like a little young child, like little Asian tiny me, right? He downloaded Clash of Clans, also known as cock um but yeah so i got this and then i basically did the typical thing that a lot of like kids do and i used my dad's credit card and like spent like a lot of money like literally in the thousands all on this single thing um and uh, obviously i got busted and uh, even after that like after i got busted go down a couple years i do it again i didn't really learn anything and you know i'm thinking back to like two three years ago when I was a shut-in, and I would literally stay inside my room on my phone, playing video games 24-7. I'm not even joking, like, I got home from school in my room, be on my phone, or playing video games until the morning, 6am, go to bed, and when I wake up, the first thing I grab is my phone. I'd start scrolling on social media, and it wasn't healthy. I knew this because I felt terrible. I felt mentally exhausted even though I hadn't done anything. And it made me really think back to like the reasons why we go on our phones, the reason why we are so addicted to them, the reasons that we scroll. I did it at least because I wanted to escape reality. I felt hopeless. I had a lack of ambition, dreams, goals in my life. I didn't know what I really wanted to do in life. And this was a great way to escape it. I had no way to to sort of describe this why, why I felt like this, so I turned to my phone. And the thing is, scrolling, you know, scrolling on social media, it does produce this sort of like fast, cheap, quick dopamine, which kind of deals with that problem, kind of escapes the reality for the moment, but it makes you feel worse in the long run. And I knew this because I did it for years. The thing is, I still use my phone now. Obviously, I mean, I do a lot of my YouTube on there, but I use my phone in such more of a productive way than what I ever did before. Before, I basically never used it for anything productive, but now 90% of my time on my phone is into things that are actually helping me and is actually productive. It's way different to what I used to be before. Phones aren't inherently bad. Like, it's just that we've gotten to the point that we are addicted to the bad things. So here's how I managed to completely change the way I use my phone to make it actually useful in a productive way and to stop this addiction that I had. Notifications. Turn off notifications. Literally one notification can literally derail your whole schedule. You set down a time for you to actually get some work done, to be productive, to get good hard work done. And then you get that one notification you go check on it, and then suddenly you're on your phone scrolling. 99% of the notifications are completely useless. It's from, like, group chats or something, or, like, Instagram or TikTok. It's completely useless, so just simply stop making excuses. And obviously, you know, you have family, and that is hugely important. So what you can do is turn on, like, do not disturb, so you don't get any notifications, but then you can edit it to allow certain people come through, and then you can allow family. I have the same thing on my phone, and I call it work mode, but I have it on basically all the time. The morning. Looking at your phone in the morning is probably one of the worst things that you can do. Grabbing your phone first thing. Before you even get out of bed, it's literally not even giving your brain a second to rest, to a second to breathe. You're on it right before you go to sleep, and then you're on it first thing when you get up. The morning is unbelievably crucial for productivity because the morning sets you up for the rest of the day. If you have a good morning, chances are you have a good day. If you have a bad morning, chances are you won't have a good day. So the mornings are very, very important. So you need to make the most of it. Don't sleep with your phone. Keep your phone away from your bed 
and then don't check messages first thing in the morning. And establish a productive morning routine. Toxic apps. Yeah, you may click off at this point. Just get rid of the apps that are just simply not beneficial to you. That is ultimately how I made my phone more of a tool of production, productivity, instead of my phone controlling me. And it was, I just got rid of the apps. They aren't helpful to you. You know, sort of Instagram, Snapchat, um, TikTok, Reddit, Facebook. Like, all this stuff that kind of makes me scroll. It's not healthy. It's not good. So just get rid of it and replace it with something else. You see, that's the one thing. You can't really kill a habit. You can only replace it. So, I replaced it with Deep Stash. This isn't like a sponsorship. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Uh, it's just something I came across, and it's basically the exact same thing. It's scrolling, but instead, it's a bunch of productive things that you can read, such as books you've always wanted to read, Way of the Superior Man, Atomic Habits, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Your Next Five Moves, like all of these really productive books that have huge amounts of information and knowledge behind or something that you could really be interested in how to meditate how to start your own business it has all of this on here you can choose like what one do you want to like specifically read like it'll ask you for like your preferences and i use this instead of scrolling on instagram now and it's genuinely one of the biggest powerhouses of knowledge that i've learned from over the years i hugely recommend it and it's free wait no that's a lie I think it's £5 a month. But £5 a month for as many books as you like, it's pretty good. Plan your day without a phone. Overusing your phone, what I have learned that it has done to me is that it completely halted my productivity, my creativity, and my energy and motivation for the day. When I would give in too much into all these kind of toxic apps. When I would use my phone to the point that my phone was kind of controlling me. I felt so down and exhausted all the time. And I didn't know why until I, you know, actually put down my phone. Just try and learn to live without your phone for just one day. Just one day. And the thing is, if that thought is completely terrifying, because it was for me, then you know that you have a problem. And that this could be the video that you kind of exactly needed. Go outside. We are so robotically connected to our phones all the time. So do something humanly and just go outside. We genuinely weren't meant to be behind a screen all our lives. I don't believe that that's our purpose, to sit behind a black screen that flashes lights at you. Make new friends or go out with current friends. Go outside, into nature, go for a walk in the woods, or just go for a walk outside, or spend time with family. If you want to change your life for the better, but you simply have no idea how, this could be it. This channel, this community, I will do everything that we can to help you learn and learn where to start. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I really do hope that this video has managed to help you in some way or form. And more importantly, stay consistent. Don't give up. All right, you know what time it is. Come here, self-improvement kiss.